Hi everyone, thanks again for joining us on drivinglessonscart.ie. Uh, today we're going to do a little video on things to consider when you're purchasing a car. Now, uh, there are a lot of things to consider uh, when you're purchasing a car. For example, do you want electric wing mirrors? Which can be very handy if you're manoeuvring, just adjust the wing mirrors to see where you're manoeuvring and readjust them back up afterwards when you're uh, for, uh, going driving uh, along again uh, after you finish your maneuvers. Uh, do you want electric windows in the car? They're very handy as well. Uh, so you have control of the rear windows in the car if you need them when maybe you might have children in the back of the car, for example. Um, height adjustable seat is very handy. Uh, some people might be a small stature and it's very handy to have a height adjustable seat in the uh, dri driver's seat so that it can get into a comfortable position when they're driving. Uh, other things to consider would be front window heaters. Um, again, very handy in a cold winter's morning when the front windows are fogged up. They'll clear the, the front window for you fair, fairly quickly sometimes. Um, do you want air conditioning in the car? Um, again, handy in the summertime to keep the car nice and cool or in the wintertime to keep the car nice and warm. Do you want steel wheels or alloy wheels in the car? I'm a steel wheel man myself. I think alloy wheels are too... They're, they're, they're a nice product, but they're just for Irish roads with so many potholes. Um, just alloy wheels unless you're driving good motorway roads a lot alloy wheels for back roads and country roads are just not worth it because they keep breaking with all the the potholes we have on our poor roads um, then you want to consider do you need to have petrol, diesel electric or other type of uh, car fu uh, fuel running the car or whatever um, you can have hybrid, for example, um, petrol, if you're not doing too much mileage, petrol could be a good option for you. If you're doing the diesel, using diesel fuel, you'd want to be doing a lot of mileage to, uh, to, to make, 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 make the diesel work out for you financially. Um, and with the diesel too, you'd want to be doing, uh, the mileage you want to be doing would possibly in some cars want to be not so much town and town and city driving it would want to be kind of open country driving where you're not driving along at slower speeds the whole time electric cars are coming in in a big way they say i um, might have my doubts you're talking about uh if like last year there we were out we, we were without electricity for about a week so who would have got anywhere with an electric car during that week if we'd no no way to charge the car and do you want an automatic vehicle or a, a manual transmission vehicle other things to consider um automatics can be a little bit more expensive but i suppose you just buy what you can afford the manual car is a little bit cheaper maybe possibly arguably more wear and tear on the gears and the clutch, possibly because one's, one is doing it oneself. Um, another thing you might want to consider in the car is what color do you want the car. Uh, other things to consider when you're buying a car might be the number of seats you might want in the car. Some people have big families, so you'd want to take uh, maybe a seven-seater car. Um, on a Category B driving license, you can carry, you can drive up to a nine-seater car in this country. Uh, that'd be a lot now. A lot of taxi drivers of them, uh, but your standard car would have a f would be able to accommodate maybe four to five people, uh, comfortably enough. Engine size again, you want to consider your engine size. What engine size size would you like? If you're only driving around uh, city and towns a lot, maybe one liter of size engine would be fine for you. Uh, if there's any sort of strain in the engine, if you're going on long journeys, uh, you have a, 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 a you have um, maybe some some heavy loads in the car from time to time you might want a bit more comfort to maybe 1.2 1.4 1.6 size engine you know um 
it's nice to have a bit of comfort in a long journey if you're going uh you know on a long journey not to be uh hopping off the roads every now and again as i said earlier some of the our roads are very poor here now um other things you want to consider maybe do you want parking sensors in the car again they're very handy if you're maneuvering they'll uh, alarm if you come too close to anything they're very handy uh next of all do you want you want to consider your uh the cost of the vehicle you're buying um obviously an important factor you you kind of pay for what you can afford i suppose and and take it from there and you know try and get as, as good a vehicle as you can for what you're willing to pay for the vehicle uh do you want abs brakes in the vehicle and it was anti-braking you want an anti-braking system if that's abs brakes uh do you want that in 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 the car or the vehicle you're buying it's a, a useful thing to have um do you want an electronic handbrake standard handbrake do you want hill assist technology in the car um the electric handbrakes are very handy uh in a lot of newer cars now they're very useful just kind of just pull a lever and a uh, small little lever or press a button and the handbrake is on electronically and uh, when you take off the electronic handbrake goes off itself very useful again hail assist is kind of a similar thing you're just pressing the brake pedal in some cars a little bit, a little bit extra when you stop and that'll hold the car on a hill when you're ready to go when you come off the brake for a couple of seconds until you actually start moving useful things to have um all these things are very useful to have um so you've got to consider a lot when you're going to drive a car or sorry purchase a car that you'd like to drive um other things then let's say remotes control center locking and power steering these things are more or less standard in most cars nowadays maybe a decade or so ago maybe two decades ago these would have been uh, characterized as being um kind of extras optional extras that you'd like you could you could get in a car but nowadays they're kind of standard so um most cars have them now that's so so folks that's everything you've kind of got to consider in a car when you when, when you're going buying a car um if you hopefully that video now would be some help to you um if you like the video please click on the like button just below the the screen here in a, uh, and you can you'll be more than welcome to subscribe to our channel we put up uh, videos and driving general driving topics um and as much as we can to help people along with their driving so thanks folks for looking at the video um and until we see you see you again thank you bye for now